What's up everybody, Eric here, and today we're here with another The Planet Crafter video. And in today's video we'll be talking about the machines that you find in the game. There are currently 49 machines and they are divided in 11 types. So the first type we're talking about now is the display screens. So the first display screen here on my left is the blueprint screen. So the blueprint screen displays information on how to unlock blueprints and it displays the costs of constructing blueprints. So once you click here, you have this uh, UI here and you can see that it's divided in four categories. We have the terraformation, oxygen, heat and pressure. So each of them has different milestones for unlocking different machines. So as an example, the next one I have to unlock in the terraformation is the atmospheric water collector and it needs 875 KTI to unlock. And I have almost 600 here, so it's almost 300 still to go. And the same applies to the others as well. And throughout the game, you will loot some blueprint microchips and they can be used as well to unlock some machines. There are no requirements needed to build the blueprint screen. The and the materials needed are one iron and one silicon ore. And the power usage is 0.2 kilowatts per second. Now moving on to the second screen, we have here the energy level screen. And basically it displays information about the power production and consumption. So as you can see here on the left side you have the consumption which is 129 kilowatts per hour and the production is 137 kilowatts per hour. So you can see that I'm barely producing what I need to supply uh, what I have right now. There are no requirements to build the energy level screen you just need one iron, one silicon, and one magnesium. And the power usage is 0.4 kilowatts per second. Moving on to the next, we have the transmission screen. It displays messages received by the communication antenna. So you need an antenna close to your base in order for that to function. And once you click here, you can see all the message that you have received. To unlock the transmission screen, you need to achieve pressure of 4 mmPa. The materials needed for crafting it are 1 iron ore, 1 silicon and 1 magnesium. And the power usage is 0.4 kilowatts per second. Now moving on to the next, we have the terraformation screen. And it displays information about the terraformation, oxygen, heat, pressure and biomass of the planet. There are no requirements to, for building it, you just need the construction microchip and the materials needed are one iron ore, one silicon and one cobalt. And the power usage is 0.4 kilowatts per second. Now moving up to the next one we have the progress screen and it displays the progress towards the next terraformation stage and also displays the last completed terraformation stage. So you can see that the last one I completed was clouds. So there are clouds in my planet right now. And the next one, there will be rain. I'm at 54.80% right now. Now I haven't unlocked the next screen yet, which is the mapping screen. And it displays the game area around the location of the screen. So it's pretty much a map and the requirements it will unlock you through a blueprint microchip and it requires a GPS satellite to be launched. The materials needed are one microchip compass, one iron and one silicon. And the power usage is 1.4 kilowatts per second. And the last but not least, which is not a screen itself, it's the sign. The sign is a customizable label and it can be placed anywhere. And to unlock it, you need to reach heat 500 NK. The materials needed are 1 magnesium and the power usage is 0.4 kilowatts per second. 
And let's move on to the second type of machines in the game. And now we're talking about the crafting stations. As you can see, I am in the landing pod right in the beginning of the game. And the first crafting station you will see is the tier one, which is this one. There are no requirements for it, of course, since it's the one you start off with in the game. There are no costs and the power usage is none. And there are a few things you can craft here. You can craft oxygen capsule, you can craft water bottle, the microchip construction, the deconstruction microchip, the torch, the backpack tier one, and the oxygen tank tier one. All right, now here we are in my base and we have the crafting station tier two. The crafting station tier two can be crafted in a living compartment uh, once you equip the construction microchip. It costs only one iron and one silicon and the power usage is 0 0.5 kilowatts per second. As you can see, we can craft the same things that you can craft in the tier one and more. So you can craft the oxygen capsule, the water, the microchips you could before, but now you can also craft the compass. And you can also craft the tier one, two and three backpacks, exoskeleton tier one, oxygen tank tier one, two and three. You can also craft the exoskeleton tier two and agility boots tier one. So here we have the advanced crafting station. It's the third and last one. The advanced crafting station is used to craft new advanced tools as you can see here, materials and blueprints. It augments, but it doesn't replace the crafting station tier two. And to unlock the advanced crafting station, you need terraformation over 175 KTI. To craft it, it costs three aluminum, two titanium, two magnesium and two silicon. And the power usage is 12.5 kilowatts per second. Now let's move on to the power machines, guys. So the first one we have here is the wind turbine. It's available from the start of the game. You just need the construction microchip. It produces 1.2 kilowatts per second and it costs one iron. So this is the first one you can, you can build. Now the second one, we have the solar panel tier one here, and it's unlocked when terraformation index reaches one KTI. It produces 6.5 kilowatts per second, and it costs one iron, one cobalt, and one silicon. Now here we have the solar panel tier two. It's unlocked when the terraformation index reaches 17.5 KTI. It produces 19.50 kilowatts per second, and it costs one iron, one cobalt, one silicon, one magnesium, and one aluminium. Now the next one we have the nuclear reactor tier one. To unlock the nuclear reactor tier one, you need to reach pressure 60 UPA. It produces 86.5 kilowatts per second. It costs three super alloys, two water bottles, and one uranium rod. If you don't have any uranium rod, you will need the advanced craft station and you can craft one uranium rod. There are two more machines, but I haven't unlocked them yet. One of them is the nuclear reactor tier two and it's unlocked when pressure reaches 1.50 MPA. It produces 331.5 kilowatts per second, and it costs three water bottles, one super alloy, three uranium rod, or 27 uranium ores, and one explosive powder. And the last one is the nuclear fusion generator which is unlocked when heat reaches 750 UK. It produces 1835.5 kilowatts per second and it costs five pulsar quartz and four super alloys. 
So in total there are six machines used to power the planet. And have in mind that they power up the entire planet. They don't need to be right beside your base. Now let's talk about the heaters. And here we have the heater tier one. There are no requirements to building it. You just need the construction microchip. It produces 0.3 pK per second of heat. And it uses one kilowatt per second of energy. It costs one iridium, one iron, and one silicon. Now the heater tier two, you need to reach oxygen 1.85 ppt. It produces 4.5 pK per second, and it uses 3.5 kilowatts per second. It needs two iridium, one silicon, one titanium, one iron, and one aluminium to produce. Then we have the tier three heater. And to unlock it, you need to reach 80 PPT. It produces 28.5 pK per second of heat. It also produces pressure, 0.6 NPA per second. And it uses 17.5 kilowatts per second. Materials needed are one silicon, one titanium, one aluminium, and one iridium rod. There is also the tier 4 heater, which I haven't unlocked yet. To craft the tier 4 heater, you need to reach oxygen 63 ppb. It produces 538 pk per second of heat, and it produces 35.5 NPA per second of pressure. It uses 51.5 kilowatts per second, and the materials needed are 3 super alloy, 2 iridium rod, and one explosive powder. All right, guys, now we have the drills and the drills, they are used to increase the pressure in the planet by releasing gases that are trapped on the ground. So there are four drills currently in the game. So here we have the drill tier one and it's also available when you construct the microchip right from the beginning of the game. It produces 0.2 pressure per second and it consumes 0.5 kilowatts per second. It costs one iron and one titanium. Now here we have the drill tier two. You can see it's a little bit bigger. It unlocks when pressure reaches 1.2 UPA. It produces 1.5 pressure per second and it uses five kilowatts per second. It costs one iron and two titanium. Now we have the tier three drill. It is unlocked when heat reaches 21 NK. It produces 0 0.5 heat per second and 17 pressure per second. And it consumes 8.5 kilowatts per second. It costs two iron, two titanium, and two aluminium. And there is the tier four drill, which I haven't unlocked yet, which is unlocked when heat reaches 41 UK. It produces 25 heat per second and 459 pressure per second. It uses 45.5 kilowatts per second, and it costs six super alloy and three osmium. That's it for today's video guys, today we talked about 24 of the 49 machines in Planet Crafter. There will be a second part where I'll talk about the rest of them. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and leave a comment telling me what you think about the video. So that's it for today and catch you in the next video.